I don't know if y'all seen the kids came out. They were kind of sad, you know. They, they wanted to jump again, but you know, it's part of the business. You know, we got we make them happy, but they just can't keep it all all the time, you know, all day long. Well, the next day. So that's the sad part, you know. I had one little girl. She she was crying, and she's like, "Hey, y'all taking princess cups." That was the sad part, you know. She she watched us when we loaded up the bouncer to the trailer and she was crying. Uh, that's probably another thing that I didn't share with you guys, but uh, we, kids get sad, you know, because they think they're gonna keep it forever. They love it, they love it. They love the bouncers. What's up guys, it's your boy Tony. Uh, today we're gonna be picking up the bouncers. First one is gonna be the Princess Castle. I'm already here at the location, guys. Got everything that I need. Got the hammer some uh, towels so I can get a better grip so I, when I start rolling and I got the uh, dolly so we're gonna go in the backyard we're gonna knock this out real quick load it up on the trailer and then we're gonna go to the next location so let's get to it all right guys so I'm here at the backyard the first thing that I'm gonna do is air up the bouncer while I air it up the second thing we're gonna do is take the stakes out uh, we're gonna take the stakes out but we want to make sure that there's nothing sharp inside the uh, bouncer. We want to make sure it's fine. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to air it up. So the next step is gonna be, we're gonna uh, unplug the blower and we're gonna disconnect the uh, extension cord. And then we're gonna open the air pockets, all right? Next thing we're gonna do now is get the uh, stench cord. Right. And uh, like I said, then we're gonna do, then we're gonna open the air pockets to let all the air out. So the next thing that you want to do is open the air pockets. I already got these ones open. So the next thing you want to do now is make sure that the, uh, this part of the bouncer is flat and square so it'll be easy to roll it. All right? Now I'm going to clean it up at the warehouse so I ain't worried about the leaves right now. We still got another point, but we still got to pick up another one. 
sometimes we do clean up at the customer house, but we ain't gonna have time on this one. All right. So now we're gonna bring the slide over there. We're gonna bring it over here. guys so now we're gonna do this side right here and we're gonna bring it up right here all right that's the last part to do it So, it's already almost ready. Now we have to do is tuck this uh, the paint leftover. We're gonna tuck it in, all right, so we can get a good roll. All right, let's do it. Now, most of the time. I start rolling from right here because right here it has less meat so it's easy to start small I know some some of y'all comment on other videos saying why I don't start from over there that way I can push all the air out right here well no matter how many times I try it guys it always come out a big it comes out as a big row because I cannot start real small on that side it's really hard for me to start small so this is the easy part for me i start off right here start off small and then it becomes easy all right that's my way of doing it guys all right i do have an air pocket on the side where the air comes out so it's still air coming out while i'm still rolling but yeah i just find it more easy doing it this way and so so i do read the comments guys appreciate comments but uh, this way works better for me, guys. All right. I tried it last time when y'all coming, when one of y'all coming and said, "Why well, don't just start that way?" So I can push the air out. I tried it. Uh, should I try it so y'all can see? Guess what? We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it again so y'all can see. It's gonna be a big roll. It's not gonna be a tight roll. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try it again so y'all can see. All right. It might just be me. I'm maybe I'm just weak, but I just can't do it. But we're gonna try it again, guys. Let's do it.
see what I'm talking about, guys. I can't do a small row on this one because it's so much meat over here. It's a much easier over there. But, oh well, we already started. too big. I can't never get a small roll on this one. So, so that's how you came out, guys. It feels like more of a workout for me doing it this way than starting from this this side. Whew. Good thing I got some, good thing I got some good right in the, in the truck. I did forget one thing. I did forget, guys, and I'm gonna show you a little trick. Some of y'all already know. Make sure your straps are already set up under the slide. So that way, once you finish rolling, your straps are already under, under the slide instead of trying to slide it in. So this is the straps I'm talking about. So yeah, I did forget to put those straps under the slide right here, but we still got a chance to do it. So we're gonna do it right now. So we got the strap already on the floor, on this, on the, on the balancer, and this is what I want to show you. See, you don't have to lift the balancer no more because now you got the straps on the balancer. There you go. But I don't really like rolling this way because it be, it's a big, it's a big roll. Too big I can never get a small guys can never get a top so that's what we're gonna do As y'all can see guys, this is not the right size tarp to protect the bouncer. Uh, I haven't had a chance to buy a tarp for it, but we still use it just in case, you know, to protect the bouncer. Just covers a little bit, covers a little bit of the bouncer. But yeah, that's it. We're done with the bouncer. We're gonna go ahead and uh, move it out of the way first. And I'm gonna fold this tarp, 
because I need this tarp on the trailer first because the, the bounce is going to sit on top of it so it won't get damaged on the trailer all right but yeah we're going to go ahead and stand this up and put it on the dolly all right I don't know if y'all seen the kids came out they were kind of sad you know they, they wanted to jump again but you know it's part of the business you know we got we make them happy but they just can't keep it all all the time you know all day long well the next day so that's the sad part you know I had one little girl she she was crying and she's like hey y'all take me to princess castle that was the sad part you know she she watched us when we loaded up the bouncer to the trailer and she was crying uh, that's probably another thing that I didn't share with you guys but uh, we kids get sad you know because they think they're gonna keep it forever they love it they loved it. they love the bouncers all right but yeah let's get to it guys because we still gotta pick up the other one let's do it So what we're going to do now, just uh, load it on the dolly, get it ready, all right? All right, next thing, just uh, fold the tarp, and that's it. Easy. So let's pull the tarp, guys. Let's do it. Alright guys, well that's it. This is the last thing. I got everything already on the truck, the tarps, the blower, the cones, stakes, all of that. So this is the last thing we gotta do. So yeah, we're done. On to the next one guys. So let's go ahead and take this over there to the trailer. Let's do it. Let's roll out. Alright. All right, guys, well, that's it. We are done with this one. We're gonna go to the next location, guys. We got one more bouncer to pick up. And that's it. Now, the Prince of Castle is the only one that has a little bit more weight. Uh, so sometimes she gives me a little hard time. But, uh, oh yeah, I did say I was gonna do a video comparing the Princess Castle versus the octopus and the ninja they are made from jump orange these are from jump orange and this one is from tan and table i still want to do the video i just haven't had time but uh overall guys i'm gonna tell you right now this one is heavy it has a little bit more weight because the vinyl is way thicker so this one does give me a little hard time and as you can see guys i try to roll it as tight as possible i couldn't do it so I'm going to have to stick with it all the way, my way, you know. I found a sweet spot and I just stick with it, you know. Stick with it uh, however you, however it works uh, good for you. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, this one's light, guys. I love this one. So anytime that people want to book it, <laughs> no problem. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put this cone on top of, the, uh, in, right here on the truck. And we're going to roll out. I'll see you in the next location, guys. Let's get it.